Hey everyone, this is Bella and welcome to my room. Some of you in the comments wanted to see what my room looks like, so today's video is going to be a room tour. For some context, I live with one other roommate in a double where we each use one side. As a disclaimer, I'll be mainly showing my half in this tour, but they're basically mirror images of each other. My favorite part currently about my room is this wall right above my bed. I was going for a colorful vintage plant vibe, so I put up some posters and ivy vines. When I move into a new dorm next year, I definitely want to bring in more plants because I aspire my room to be a literal jungle. At night or whenever I have the curtains down, I like to turn on my sunset lamp, which I think enhances a room so much. I use this one my sister got me for my birthday and I like to change the colors around once in a while. It's a really nice, quick and easy way to change up the mood in the room without doing too much work and it's especially useful at night when I want to keep the lights low. I keep the lamp, which has a tripod attached, on top of my closet so that the light directly hits my wall and I can adjust it for my bed. Next up, we have our desk area. This wooden desk came with the room when we first moved in and it has two shelves. On the first shelf, I keep my skincare, jewelry, books, and some folders. On the back, I have more green decorations including ivy vines and this green canvas. On the left, I also keep my glasses which I occasionally wear and a COVID test just in case I need that handy. Next to it, I have a tray of skincare and lip gloss. This lip gloss was actually the first ever makeup that I bought for myself so it's very dear to me and it's a peachy gloss from Fenty. Over there, I have more skincare which I got over winter break and this is an amethyst from the Museum of Natural History down the block. Earlier this year, my friends and I did a scavenger hunt there so we each got one as a prize. This is the area where I keep all my jewelry. I keep my rings on top of this little box and inside I also have some lead and eraser. These bead rings I made over winter break with some YouTube tutorials. And here I keep my most worn pieces and I keep the rest of my collection in this nice little pill organizer. Now a brief message from today's sponsor Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand that makes sustainable, high quality, and classic pieces. Their products are dainty and on the simpler side which I really appreciate because they're timeless and can go with almost anything. Above all, for me, I think what sets apart this brand from others is its commitment to sustainability. They are 100% carbon and water neutral and make use of recycled material which I think is really meaningful and something that I'm super supportive of. The first one of the pieces they sent me to try is called Dobby. It's a gold hoop with green adventuring charms. As you know, green is my absolute favorite color and I think the color pops so beautifully on a gold lining. Next, this one is called Mini Abbey Silver and this one is my favorite by far. If you know me in person, you probably saw me wear these for a day straight. It's so comfy and dainty and something that I've been looking for for a while. It kind of wraps around the earlobe and doesn't dangle, so it's kind of like a little silver bell attached to your ear. The last two are Frida and Isabel. These are both gold plated and have pearls on them and I really like them as they go well with simpler or more formal looks. They also probably won't ever go out of style because they are so classic which is another plus. I think jewelry is one of those things that adds a little extra something, a little sparkle to your look and people love giving it and receiving it as a gift which comes to say that any of Ana Luisa's pieces would make for a super cute gift or even a treat for yourself. I'm leaving a link to their site in the description box so feel free to check their collection out if you're interested. Back to the video. Next to my jewelry station, I have a pocket of gems and Tide Pods. It's a weird combo but I thought the colors look nice together so that's that. This pocket is for my chunkier jewelry like hoops and chains. These are some books that my roommate gave me as a gift and here is Citizen 13660 which is a book for my writing class on immigration. It's about Japanese incarceration during World War II and a lot of it is illustration by the author which is really cool. These are some folders of material from high school that I brought for review. Back to the left side, I forgot to show you but this is a journal the school gave us on move-in day and here's a photography portfolio type book called Glass Flowers which I got again from the Natural History Museum. The other books in the back are viola music. 
I brought them in hopes of practicing, but that has not been happening, unfortunately. But that aside, on the top shelf, I have a Bluetooth speaker and my Kindle, which I have also not really been using. As you will see, there is not any battery left. Behind those, I have an LP that the radio station was giving out the other day. Here's my makeup box and some brushes for my hair. At the corner, I have a Schoenberg CD, which is also from when the radio station was giving out a bunch of extra. And this is a little weird, but I keep my toothbrush next to the window because I think I read somewhere that sunlight has disinfecting properties, so it's just sitting there. For my main desk area, there's a lamp attached at the top, and the board you see is actually a cork board that you can use as a bulletin board, although I don't have anything pinned there right now. There's my hard drive and AirPods in a little basket, and my pencil case. I use a Logitech keyboard, and that's a tea box, aka my pencil holder. This part of my desk contains all my study snacks and this calculator that I've been using since like 8th grade, 7th grade, something like that. Next to it, this pouch is for all my color pencils. I keep all my emergency vitamins here, tea bags, energy bars, and all the study snacks I really like. And this go to top pouch is for my color pens. And those are my stickers. I keep some packs of thank you cards on the side. And that is a pencil sharpener that my dad got me for like, I think my birthday during third grade or so. And it's really nice. I've been using it ever since. That is a book shaped squishy for stress relief, I guess. On the other side of my desk, I keep my backpack and there's this little rollable side table on top of which I keep my mini humidifier and apparently a Capri Sun. In the winter, the dorm gets super dry, so this humidifier has been serving me well. Between our desks, we have a trash and a recycling bin. Next, I would like you to meet Racer, who is my mini succulent. I got him sometime last semester, and I think he's doing pretty well so far. I do not have a green finger, so a lot of the plants I take care of die really soon, but Racer is holding out really strong. I think the fact that he's a succulent makes me complacent, and I always forget to water him, but he's, he's going strong. On this little knob from the bed, I like to keep my mask hanging. This way, I can actually remember to take my mask with me outside. And I forgot to share this earlier, but this is our heater. We can change the settings on this wall. Back to my bed, on the side, I keep some of my cleaning supplies. And under the bed, I have my instrument case, a shower caddy, and boxes for more storage. This first box has my stash of water bottles that I restock every couple weeks, and the second one has health-related things like emergencies and masks. Next to all of these, there are some drawers where I keep all of my clothes. This one is for my tops, the bottom one for my bottoms, and this one is for my sweaters. In front of the drawers, I have this rug I got from Costco, I cannot overstate the amount of comfort this rug has given me. It was only like $13 or $15 at the time when I bought it, and it's probably one of the best investments I've made in this room. Right next to my bed, I have my closet. In here, I keep extra tops, jackets, dresses, and shoes. On the left panel, I hung up some bags, and this is a tote bag that I use most often. I'm saying this for like the third time, but this is also from the Natural History Museum. And the right panel just has a full body mirror. On the bottom, I have a plastic bin with towels, laundry bags, and some shoes. Over here, I have my mini vacuum I got from Amazon. I forgot to film the bottom drawer, but it basically has my hair straightener, curlers, everything like that. Lastly, I put my carriers on top of the closet to save some space. Next to my closet is the bathroom. We've been really fortunate to be in a room with a private bathroom inside instead of having to use a holy bathroom. This is what it looks like. There's a bathtub with a shower curtain, a trash can, towels, cleaning supplies, and a scale I got from Amazon. 
once again, I'm really grateful that we have a private bathroom in our room, but this is a disclaimer that not all the freshman dorms at Harvard do. We've really hit the jackpot here. I filmed this extra clip during the day to show you what the window view looks like. From our room, we can see the Barker Center and I think we have a pretty nice view. This concludes the room tour. I hope this was a good overview of what my room looks like and thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Another thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. If you want to see more of what they do, remember to check out the link in the description. Thanks and see you in the next video.